Hey everyone, it's Tyler of Fire Sabers. Today, I'm going to show everyone how to attach both your emitter shroud and also a grip sleeve, at least the way that I do it. Um, obviously, there's a couple different methods, but I'll show you the way I do it. Um, so, with the shroud, I usually like to I'll just take this off, I'll show you from scratch. Usually there's one or two holes, depending on what emitter you get. And you can see a little bit of the mark right here from the way this came. Sometimes you might want to position it in a random way. You can put the screw in and you can just crank down on the outside. I don't like doing that because it creates a mark on the emitter itself. So I actually use the existing screw holes as kind of a kind of like a safe spot to to tie this down to the uh, to the emitter without hurting anything. So I'll show you a couple things here. I'm going to line this up just like so. Now I've got a thumb screw here. What happens is if you try to do this. just straight through. You gotta be really careful you line it up just right. Okay. So this thumb screw is long enough that it is actually gonna be able to tighten down on the blade. Okay, so the blade's in there tight now. This works. However, you'll notice the shroud's not actually tight. That's because there's nothing pinning the shroud to the hilt. So the thumb screw is essentially going through the emitter and it's pushing up against the blade, but there's no pressure on the shroud itself. So this setup doesn't really work well, but the way I do it, I'll actually move the shroud out of the way. And we've got a couple different sizes of grub screws here that we use. Um, it just kind of depends on your hilt, and we use whatever makes the most sense. So I've got like a bigger one and a smaller one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tighten down the blade. Actually, let's go ahead and use the shorter one first because that'll give us a little bit of thread that we can get into. So I'm going to use one of my shorter set screws. Tighten down the blade with that one. Now we're going to place this over here. And you just want to really carefully line it up. And this should feed directly into there. Okay, So now it is using the existing screw that's underneath this to push against it and create pressure. And now that shroud is not going to go anywhere. That is sturdy, but it's also not damaging our emitter because it's pressing against the screw that's underneath here. And then of course you can take another screw up here and get you that extra blade strength and rigidity. Okay, so that's how I attach the the shrouds um, when I send them out to you guys. I just, in my personal opinion, this is the best way to do it. It requires a little more work because you usually need timing shims to make sure that the front of this lines up with the buttons. Um, but what I've seen other people do is just line it up where they want and crank down. And like I said, I don't, I don't like doing that because it makes a mark on it. Next will be the uh, grip grip sleeve here. Um, again, some people just bring it to right here. They take a set screw and they tighten it down and they call it a day. Again, I don't like doing this because it would leave a mark right here. So the way I do it is I actually remove the bottom screw 
out of my switch assembly here. Slide this guy into place and then replace the screw. And that'll actually pin it just by itself. But if you want a little bit of extra support, you can come to this back one here. And you can thread that one in as well. So there you have it. We got our emitter shroud and our grip sleeve, nice and secure. It's not rattling, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and there's a couple different ways you can do that. So if you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to us. Um, Facebook Messenger for virus savers is usually the most efficient way. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble lately with emails going to the spam box for some reason. Uh, so if you need to get a hold of us quick, Messenger is usually the way to go. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.